Good morning, everyone. My name is Stephanie Nunez Jose. I'd like to start off by thanking each of you for taking the time to participate and joining us today. The reason we're here today is to gather opinions and attitudes about issues related to impacts of playing online games on youth. I'm going to lead our discussion today. I will be asking you questions and then encouraging and moderating our discussion. As we start, I would like to introduce first our beautiful and handsome panelists. Our first panelist, he is a doctor from Bulacan City, Philippines. He has been practicing medicine for over 20 years and specializes in cardiology. He works at a local hospital in his country. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Dr. Albert Catamara. Our next panelist, she is a teacher from Cebu City, Philippines. She has been teaching for over 15 years and specializes in early childhood education. She works at a secondary school in her country. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Miss Nilene Gomez. Next panelist, he is a secretary from Coron, Palawan, Philippines. He has been working as a secretary for over 15 years and specializes in office management and organization. He works at a local law firm in his country. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome Mr. Jubin Sumapo. A big round of applause. Next panelist, he is a businessman from Baguio City, Philippines. He has been working in business for over 25 years and specializes in finance and investment. He works in a local investment firm in his country. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Mr. Jumari Corbin. And our last panelist, she is a flight attendant from Manila City, Philippines. She has been working as a flight attendant for over five years and specializes in customer service, excellent on board flight around the world. She works with a major airline company in her country. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome Miss Rizaline Rumal. A big round of applause. Our teamwork skills and its built relationship with friends 
on the other, on the other hand, they can lead to a decision to isolate from real world activities like me. I am always experienced for sleep, hygiene, physical heart and to pain, exhaustion, dehydration, obesity, heart problems and depression. These are just examples based on what I become. Thank you, Dr. Albert. Now let me call the next panelist, Ms. Meline Gomez. Thank you, Ms. Stephanie, for introducing me. Good morning, everyone. From my experience with the classroom, I've been seeing that online games can be both beneficial and detrimental of students' learning experience. It can help them develop problem solving skills as well as build relationships with their peers, but it can distract them from more important tasks like studying or competing assignments. Thank you, Ms. Lee. Now, let me call the next panelist for his ideas and opinions. Let us all welcome Mr. Jubin Sumako. Thank you, Mrs. Stephanie, for introducing me. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Well, as for me, the time spent on giving the, <coughs> the decrease in academic performance as online games are designed to be addictive and can take up large chunks of time that would otherwise be spent studying many students, many years, items of so every if engross in a game that they don't have the time to complete the task like exercise every day, completing their homework and helping their parents. Thank you, Mr. Jubin. Next panelist, Mr. Jumari Corbin. Thank you, Mrs. Stephanie, for the hard coming and hello everyone. As for me, online games can be helpful for young people to increase focus and concentration levels, stand eye coordination, cognitive skills. Perhaps playing certain types of online games can be educational as well as a way. Improve their school problem, problem solving skills in teaching. Thank you, Mr. Jumari. Now let us hear our last panelist, Ms. Rizaline Rubo. What a healthy welcome, Ms. Jumari. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Well, as for me, my opinion will be. Online games can support yourself skills as they allow you to interact and build relationships with other players from around the world. Even if they're playing secretly, learning how to cooperate with other or competing in online games can also help young people to build relationships and open communication. Thank you, Ms. Rizaline. Thank you, panelists, for all your thoughtful insight into this topic which you talk the negative and positive impacts. Well, all of you have a point. So now, let's open up the floor for question and answer portion. Yes, Mr. Jory. Sure, sir, you may. Mr. Jokic, can you share your thoughts and the possible effect of playing online games on your set? Sure, Mr. Jokic. Thank you for that wonderful question. There are various possible effects of playing online games on your set. I know a person, a friend of mine, has experienced a lot of kind of these negative effects. Just like for example, Lack of physical activity or posture or sleep, eye strain and vision problems, insomnia, anxiety and depression and addiction. 
And I see the different consequences to the world that really depends on how you balance your eyes, standing on the lane and how you...